welcome back to my channel. Today, I've got 10 evening gowns from wish.com. That's right. I ordered 10 evening gowns, evening dresses, ball gowns, whatever you want to call them from wish.com and they all showed up and they're all very interesting. So if you want to see me try them all on and give my honest review, then stay tuned. Why did I order 10 evening gowns from wish.com? Um, because I was curious and I've seen some different hauls from wish and sometimes it's like, it's like 50, 50, some are amazing for the price and then some are just trash. So I wanted to find out for myself. I went online onto wish.com and actually on the app and selected 10 different dresses that I thought looked gorgeous. Like, I will insert the photo of the dress, how it looks on the website, and then of course, you guys will see what it looks like on. Um, I don't remember how much I spent altogether. I will insert that amount here. And um, yeah, the stuff came, of course, all in individual packages at different times. The last package just arrived yesterday. So I was like, finally I can film this because I've had pieces for like months. And that's how long it took from the first piece to arrive to the last piece to arrive, a couple months. So. Just so you guys know, be aware of that. And I don't think that there's any rhyme or reason with how they ship or a lot of times it'll show on the app when you're buying the item, um, the amount of time is expected to take for it to get to you or whatever. And then they have like express delivery. So as I mentioned, I went on, I typed in evening gown or long maxi party dress and um, found these dresses. <clears throat> I was very excited after I placed the order because these dresses look crazy beautiful and I don't really own any ball gowns or anything that I could wear to like the Oscars just in case, you know, I get nominated one day. <laughs> but uh, anyway, so <clears throat> I have to say that I am kind of pleasantly surprised, but there are definite fails. Uh, let's just, let's just get into it. Okay, the first one that I tried on is this guy. And you, of course, will see better on the try-on part. Um, but it's pretty much straightforward. It fits really well. Like, the length is good. It fits perfectly. It smells like a Halloween costume that's been in a bag for 44 years. All I know is that it fits really well. And for the price, definitely worth it. If you're looking for something like this or you have a place to wear it, um, to me, it's still pretty cheapy cheapy. Like I, I'd be able to kind of tell, uh, but for what it is, very nice. right the next one here fits really good and I don't know if you can tell on camera how cheap it is uh, but I think that you could maybe get away with this dress wearing it to a really nice place um, anyway it's basically just I don't know a slim fitting dress with a bit of a fishtail flare at the bottom you can see better of course I can't really show you here when I'm sitting down this happens a lot though so um, it sticks to the sequins, so you might have to readjust your dress every time you sit down and stand up. But I think it looks really, really nice. And if you're, I don't know, looking for bridesmaid dresses or you are looking for a cheap prom dress or something, I would recommend this dress. And you can see how it fits in the footage, um, but for the price, pretty nice. <music>
Okay, this next one is quite nice. I will admit. So, it's got this lace top, cute little kind of half sleeves, stretchy lace, very important. Um, it's higher cut than I would like, but uh, that's not too much of an issue. And then this part from the waist down is this really, really nice fabric. I'm shocked. It's, it's kind of like a silky jersey fabric and you, you can kind of see like how it would feel. Here, just touch it. See what I mean? Um, and it came with this little waist tie. You'll see better in the footage, but uh, I can't complain about this at all. I really like this and I might potentially wear it someday. I don't know what I think about this. So you'll see in the photo how elegant and beautiful the model looks wearing it. I wanted to emulate that. I wanted to be her. I wanted to know her. Anyway, so here's the top. So this reminded me of like, let it adjust here, hold on. So you can kind of see it's got these layers of crinkle fabric and it looks very like, Mexican, I don't know. You'll see what I mean because I think they have this in red and a few different colors, but these froofy little shoulders, um, the fabric is really cheap, like really cheap. And it feels kind of silky, but it's sort of like static city and the top almost fits right. Excuse me. The top almost fits right. Uh, but it's just a little bit too short and it doesn't look terrible, but I would never wear it just because the length of the dress too is also like this much too short. And um, I guess being white, it reminds me of like a little choir outfit or something that you would see worn in church in the church choir. I don't know. You guys let me know what you think, but um, maybe in a different color, this would have been nicer. White, not so much. Another sequiny, silky dress. Ah, uh, this was just eh, okay. Nothing to get excited about. Uh, super cheap fabric. You know, you can see the sequins. It's just all right. Sort of um, would fall under the category of, you know, a Disney princess costume from Toys R Us. <laughs> um, anyway, but it does look pretty nice on. The top fits, it puckers a little bit, but. Other than that, it's not too bad and you could get away with it maybe if you were just, you know, messing around or in a play or something, but I wouldn't really be seen in this out. Unless I was gonna die if I didn't wear it or something. <laughs> but, eh, eh.
say you guys are gonna love the next one. I know you will, but you cannot see the sheer pain on my face from where it is. So, I knew it was a risk when I ordered it. Uh, and pretty much my fears came true. I could get it on, but check this out. This is a jumpsuit. So from neck to toe um, is sequins and something you'd see like Beyonce wear on stage. And it's really actually beautiful in real life. It looks really nice. It pretty much is exactly what the photo depicts. Um, it just doesn't really fit me right. It looks like it does, but it's not, it's too tight and it's not stretchy at all. So just imagine like I have it on and if I like lean too far this way, it starts to really hike up my butt. And anyway, and the sequins kind of poke through and start slicing you and stabbing you. So that was, that was a little bit uncomfortable. Oh, you guys, this is driving me nuts. It's just the right way. Anyway. <laughs> Uh, anyway, so yeah, and also I could not, for the life of me, get the neck done up. So it's these silly little round freaking buttons that I hate. And I got long nails, like I, I was just like, screw it. You guys can see what it would look like done up. And in fact, if it was done up, it would have been more painful and it would have been less mobile. Um, but you know, I think if I had to rock, rock a runway, if I had to walk a runway, I could pretend like it was okay for me until I got off the stage, but literally like eight minutes is max in this thing. It hurts. is not ugly, it's not terrible. It was a bit of a try on disaster because I could. So I have this problem time and time again. I try the stuff on, I'm on my own in my house and I have nobody to help me with zippers. <laughs> so um, if I can't get the zipper up, F the zipper and we're just gonna try it on without it done up. So that's what happened here. There was no way I was getting the zipper up, like no way. And anyway, so, it's got this really nice lace top. Uh, the sleeves are too tight. It's not stretchy at all. So it's a bit too tight on my arms. And of course I couldn't get the back zipper up. So, um, but I figured out a way when I was wearing it to kind of wear it off the shoulder. So I kind of faked it. It's not at all how it's supposed to look, but you guys get the gist. I don't really like long black dresses. Like unless I'm going to a funeral or something. I'll never wear this and it's probably gonna wind up in the donation bin. And it also pissed me off that I couldn't zip it up and I don't wanna have to depend on somebody else to get dressed. So potentially it could have looked nicer if it had been zipped up or whatever else, but eh, eh, pass. of the bunch. <sighs> I 
feel like now the lighting's worse. That's not too bad. This looks beautiful in the photo. You will see, but it looks like crap on. So a few things. This is the front. Remember how I was talking about Disney princess? Like who wears a top like this? I don't know. So this fabric, though it looks glittery and shiny, um, sheds glitter everywhere. So right now I've got glitter on my hands, glitter on my face, glitter up my nose, glitter in my butt crack. And, um, the liner is sort of a deeper purple. Like these colors are, don't get me wrong. These colors are beautiful. I think it looks really pretty, like just holding it here. Um, then that deeper fabric kind of continues the bottom. It kind of creates this fishtail. You will see in the footage, everything's wrong about it. It fits really weird. Um, the liner hikes up and the top part goes down and no, I don't want to even see it again. Get it out of my face. You'll see in the footage. <sighs> actually really pretty <clears throat> and looks very similar to the photo so it's an off-the-shoulder satiny gown and it actually looks beautiful the color is beautiful uh, the only issue is the fit so um, I think if I had some double-sided tape I could keep it up but because it's off the shoulder and droopy it just wants like to fall down the whole time you'll see in the footage um, I managed to keep it up so it's not too bad but like I said double-sided tape would be necessary for something like this but I don't think it looks cheap at all I feel like it's finished nicely it's got this really nice little band across and the color is just the ultimate red I love it I love red in general um, but you guys will see <laughs> I do recommend this dress if you love the style and you know you've got a prom coming up or graduation or something. Um, definitely, this is this is a good one. Definitely a good one. beautiful dress and I love it so um, on the model it looks incredibly gorgeous and I thought there's no way in hell that this dress is gonna come to me looking like it does in this picture because for this price it doesn't even make any sense but it kind of does look like it does in the photo so it's essentially this kind of mesh cream sort of nudie fabric with this embroidery all over it. Um, it continues all the way down to the bottom and they're gorgeous. Like it's so beautiful. Uh, the only thing that I don't like about it is the way that the top is structured. So let me turn it around here. So it's got this really, really cheap thin fabric here that just kind of connects to the front. Um, which makes it lay kind of uneven and you'll see in the footage that it's it doesn't fit 100% But I could do something about that Like I feel like I could do a little sewing and get it to look right, but this is so gorgeous and beautiful and I mean Shocked me I was shocked and I would wear this to wear I don't know I think it would be a really beautiful like spring summer wedding dress it's a little bit dressy maybe for a wedding unless 
you know, your bridesmaids wore this. from wish.com what did you think honestly did some of the dresses that I like did you hate them did some that I hate you like I don't know let me know um, did you like this haul I would love to do more in the future but you know it's gonna be like months from now if I order now it'll be like three months it's too long to wait um, but some pieces come pretty much right away like so it's hard to tell it's hard to tell anyway you guys give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and subscribe if you have not already. Bing! And uh, make sure you're following me on Instagram. I post there all the time and it's a party over there, so go check it out. Uh, I'm at cat.wonders. Also, speaking of parties, if you're not already on my Patreon, go check it out. I post weekly videos, a ton of extra content. I do special things just for my patrons. Um, and I speak to them directly, answer their questions, and it's a party. It's just one big party over there, so don't miss out. <laughs> Go to www.patreon.com slash catwonders and maybe become one of my little wonder cats. But you guys, I had an amazing time. I keep throwing my arms up in the air. <laughs> but you guys, I had an amazing time. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you're having an amazing day and I will see you all next time. Bye.